today I'm gonna do something. Guess what it is? I'm gonna bake mini, mini apple pies. <laughs> And you will love it. <laughs> Tara, sa kusina. <laughs> okay, guys, so what you're seeing right now are the ingredients in my pie dough. I'm actually going to make a puffy and flaky pie dough. Um, this is the second time I'm going to do it because. Last, I think two weeks ago, I, I also did the same thing. I made an apple, pocket apple pie. And so this time, I'm gonna do the same thing, <laughs> okay? <laughs> this is based on the request of my cousin's wife. Um, she asked me to do a tutorial on this. I, I think she's gonna do it. <laughs> okay, thank you viewers for this. So if you wanna get the feels, if you wanna get the same taste as I wanted before, you might wanna consider this one, try this one out. Go ahead and keep watching my video. Okay, first things first. Uh, now I'm gonna introduce to you the measuring items that I'm using. Okay, first one, the main measuring item that I'm using for my flour is this cup. Yeah, I love using this cup because it's a bit bigger and it's deeper than any other cup that I have here. So yeah, I think it's my comfort to use it and also it's even. Um, you may want to use other kind of measuring items like this. Sometimes I do use it. This is a bowl. Yeah. Sometimes I use it. So it's a bit up to you. And then this is the teaspoon that I'm using for my salt. The fork for mixing. This is for uh, the sugar and for the oil and also for the butter. And the last one is this strainer. This is for sifting my flour. It's been sifted already. Okay, so what I'm going to introduce to you is this flour. And this flour is one and a half cup. Okay, one and a half cup of flour. Next is one fourth teaspoon of salt. It's actually very little, but it's there. <laughs> okay, salt. And then two spoons of sugar. All right, two spoons of sugar. It's also there. Don't worry, my hands are clean. And then this is actually it's not done yet. I'm gonna have to measure it using spoon. So I'm gonna take ten spoonfuls of this, and I'm gonna put it here in the bowl. Okay, so actually it doesn't matter how you measure it. Just take a spoonful of butter and then put it there. Okay, let's count it. One, two, three, four. Make sure guys that your butter is cold. It should be cold. Five. Okay. It should be cold, do not warm your butter, and should be non-salted butter. <laughs> By the way guys, make sure that your butter is grated. Okay, 10 spoons already. And the last ingredient is in the fridge. It's uh, actually cold water. Okay, so take this bowl of flour, pour in your salt. Okay. Pour in your um, sugar. And then try to mix it. Mix it using your fork. Mix, 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 mix. If you want to do some singing, you might want to do that by mixing it. Okay. Okay, 
next is two spoons of oil or any kind of shortening that you have there. Two spoons of oil. Just pour it right there. Okay. And then keep mixing it up. Mix it using a fork again. And make sure that you see a lumpy thing there lumpy or like a like crumbs and then um should be i don't know if you can see this i think i need to wait okay make sure that you see a lumpy thing there because of the oil they're sticking together And then mix your mix your butter. Wait. Mix your butter into it, just like that. Make sure that when you mix it, you use your hands. Of course, before you do that, you have to clean your hands. Okay. This is the most important part. When you mix it, you don't want to press all the butter in it. Just mix it nice and gentle, just like that. Don't ever press them together because it's not going to be a puffy and flaky kind of dough. If you want to make that puffy, nice puffy, a little flaky kind of dough, just follow exactly the instruction, all right? So don't you ever press it just mix it like that if ever you see some um something that stick together you might want to separate them just separate them anyway okay try mixing it up don't you ever press it or else you're going to destroy the essence the dough. Okay. Just keep mixing it just like that. Mm -hmm. Then the last ingredient you should have is your cold water. Wait. Cold water is still in the fridge because I want to make sure that it's still cold and chilly. Okay, that's it. Okay, so here's my cold water. This is one third cup of cold water. So you don't want to put it right away. I mean, all of this right away. Uh, just slowly put it there. Slowly and then try to make a ball just form a ball make sure that you form a ball don't ever need your flour you don't need kneading here it's not a bread if you think you still need some more water you can just you know pour a little amount again Bring some more water because it's still dry. Yeah, 
think it's done. Now let's go ahead and wrap this up with some nice plastic. So put it inside the plastic, this is again clean, wrap it up, and then put it in the fridge for an hour. If you want to use it for several days, just let it sit in the fridge for, for several days. So let's wait for an hour and then uh, it still will be ready. Okay, so for the filling, uh, I'm going to use this apple, this is green apple. I'm going to peel this up. So we're done washing the apples, let's go ahead and cut them into cubes. Make sure that you remove seeds. So this is what I'm using when I cook my apple filling. I don't know what you call it, uh, like a basin. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so put your cut apples right there. So now that our apple is done, let's go ahead and put some sugar in it. There are only um, three ingredients that you may want to put on your apple filling. And first what is your sugar. If you want to have it smell like something sweet, you may go ahead and put some vanilla in it. This is a vanilla powder or the vanilla, what is that, vanilla, I don't know what, vanilla soup, <laughs> vanilla soup <laughs> and <laughs> more sugar because uh, making a jam really needs more sugar to make it sweeter. So go ahead and do that. We need some water. Some water. Yeah. And then, um, cornstarch to make it sticky a little bit. I'm gonna use it later after it's cooked, I mean when it's almost cooked. Okay, so I'm gonna mix it. Okay, then it's ready. Let's cook it. So now that it's ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the fire. Um, I don't know exactly, but it would probably take 10 to 20 minutes. See you in a bit, guys. The apple filling is done. As you can see, it's still hot. And you know, mmm, the aroma is creeping down my nerve. By the way, I forgot to mention, I put a little salt in it to make it tastier even more. Okay, so 
So as you can see, it looks a little creamier. That's because of the cornstarch that I put there. So if you want to make your cooking a little stickier and uh, looks like, you know, slimy, go ahead and use the starch. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna let it cool for like a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and pick that dough right out of the fridge. And uh, we're gonna start making the mini apple pies. See you later guys. So guys, we are so back. Okay, so everything's ready. Here's my dough. It's been, an, I mean, an hour is over. Uh, this is my roller. <laughs> roller, eh? So uh, this actually works pretty good. It, this actually works pretty good. And this is where I put my um, pocket pies. Slide. Go ahead and slice this up. It's still cold, actually. There you go. And um, pour in a little bit of flour in there. Yeah. This is where I'm gonna roll my mini pocket dough. So I don't wanna use this surface here. Cut it in half. Hmm. Then you might want to make it even so everybody gets the same size and 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 texture. <laughs> everybody gets the same size. Cut it in five maybe. And no, 
Okay guys, before I forget, don't forget to put some hold on it so that the air could eventually come out. Uh, it's just, you know, it just keeps up high, ventilated. I'm using a chopstick. Actually, I think you do. You might want to use the tip of the knife. Or you want to use, you may want to use some fork to put some hold on it.
look at them. Yummy. I can't wait to take a bite. Mmm. So the oven is ready. I already preheated it at 400 degree Fahrenheit. And so this is going in there. And I'm going to bake it for 25 to 30 minutes. Let's see. Okay, that's the oven. So now I'm going to put it there. Ooh, it's scary. Ooh, my goodness. Ouch. Okay. Okay, so it stays there for 25, maybe 25, 30 minutes. See you later, guys. Ding. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna garnish it with some egg yolk here. I mixed it with a little bit of salt. If you want, you may mix it with a little bit of milk as well. It's actually up to you. So I don't have any brush, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the back of the spoon to brush the top of the pie, the pies. Let's do the brushing. Next thing, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is to sprinkle some shredded cheese on top of them. Yeah, okay. Some cheese. the oven hey guys here's the update mm. can you smell it smells good yum 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 see you later it's done guys here it is Good. Mm, I'm gonna take a bite. Set it up, but it's still hot, you know, still hot. So I'm gonna take a bite later and then uh, I'm gonna tell you my verdict. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really sure it's delicious. I already tried the smaller one here. Okay. Ready na? Mm. Na try na. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Hanip. Inip. Try it. Come and get it. <laughs>